Good morning everyone, this is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle called The Slow Shrub by Ollie Wright. Now, apparently this is Ollie Wright's second puzzle, but what Ollie Wright does do is Ollie Wright streams Sudoku Solves on Twitch, and I will try and remember to throw a link below to um, Ollie Wright's Twitch stream. If I do forget that, please someone leave a comment and I can hunt it down and post that, um, because when I create, I tend to record a bunch of videos and then post the videos after the fact in just automated processing um, and it becomes very very easy to miss details so I'm more than happy to uh, be reminded and then go back and post the details um, because we are a community and it's important to knowledge acknowledge all of the other people who do stuff in the community um, yeah it's it's just something you have to do. So anyway, um, this is The Slow Shrub by Ollie Wright. So let's have a look at the puzzle. So um, this is the original grid as provided. I haven't played with it at all. Um, it's not the way I would have said it, but that's fine. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. We've got slow thermos. Moving along any gray line from bulb to tip, digits may increase or stay the same, but must not decrease. For each line, the bulb is marked by the white circle in row 5, column 5. So this is the bulb, and then all of these grey lines are slow thermos, um, which means, as it said, digits can either inc um, must either increase or stay the same. So along this grey line, for example, this must increase to here because they're in the same box, but these two digits could easily be the same. German Whisper, consecutive digits along the green line I would have used the word adjacent, but whatever, must have a difference of at least five. So these two digits must have a difference of at least five. Those two digits must have a difference of at least five. Killer cage. Digits in a cage cannot repeat and must sum to the total in the top left corner. So, yep, all good. No problem there. Um, and crop key dot, digit separated by a black dot, it's actually ratio dot, but whatever, it, it is a crop key dot, it's a black crop key, um, must be in a one to two ratio, not all dots are given. Um, yeah. I'm assuming that means that there must be a crop, there must be a ratio somewhere else in the grid, basically what that means. Um, so somewhere else in the grid, there will be digits in a one to two ratio, but it does means that we can't use it as a negative constraint. So any other domino could be in a ratio, but at least one must be. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Now, the big question is, could any... Now, one of these cells has to be a nine, but could any of these cells be a one? And the answer is no. The one has to go in the center of the grid because none of these, we have to increase as we go along the thermo, but because they're all in the same box, we couldn't make any of these the same digit. But one of these digits has to be a nine and it has to be one of the ones in the corner. Now, this doesn't have to contain a nine because six, seven, and eight sums to 21. So there doesn't have to be a nine in the 21 cage, but it does mean that one of these four cells is a nine. But I'm not sure what that's doing. But it does mean that in this box, the, ooh, now what is the maximum this could be? Same with this, this, and this. So the maximum those could be. So I'm gonna put all the digits in. Now this can't be a nine, because I've got two digits in the same row that's higher than it. So it's a maximum of seven. This can't be a nine, same thing, two digits in the column, maximum seven. This is a maximum of seven for the same reason, and this is a maximum of seven for the same reason. But this one is actually more restricted, because while those could be the same digit, there's at least one, two, three, four, five digits that are higher than it. So for example, if this was a seven, I could make one of those a seven if this was eight, nine, but this would need to be higher than what, what the same digit was here. So these are definitely much more restricted. So even if I did a duplicate digit here, I'd need five digits that are higher than it. So I can't, they're, they're, so even if like five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I'm broken. So this must be no higher than four. Now, this one only has two digits that need to be higher than it. This one, I th this one, if it was seven, I could put seven there and eight, nine there, but what would I put there? This can't be seven, but it might be able to be six. 
with like six, seven, seven, eight, nine, nine, for example. This is, mm, I think I'm approaching this the wrong way. And this is the same. This could be six, but it can't be seven. But this one could be seven. And, but this one can't be two because these two would have to sum to 19. That doesn't work. It even can't be three. So this is four, five, or six. But I don't think this has helped me. Okay, let's talk about German whisper lines. So on German whisper lines, there's a couple of important things. First of all, you can never put a five on a German whisper line because there's no two digits, there's no other digit that could go next to a five because because of the five difference, you either have to add five at least five or subtract at least five. If you subtract five from five, you hit zero or less five or more. If you add five or more, you hit 10 or higher. None of those are valid Sudoku digits. So you can never put five on a German whisper line. The other important fact is, therefore, every digit must exist either below five or above five. If the digit is below five, you can never put another digit that is below five next to the below five digit because the maximum difference is three. So the next digit would have to be above five and I'll put it in a different place. I'll put it here. So the next digit would have to be above five, but you can't then put another digit that is above five next to it because the maximum difference is three. Six and nine, the two furthest apart digits are only three apart. So the next digit must be below five and you will always alternate above five, below five, above five, below five, or high, low, high, low, high, low. So you can do alternating colors along this line and know that every second digit is going to be what we call the same polarity. So all of those digits are one polarity and all of these digits are a different polarity. Now that may tell me something about the nature of this grid. Now this can't be a five. So the five is in one of those two cells because you can never put a five on a black dot. This 21, this does feel completely forced. Like, could this be eight, nine? If this was 8, 9, yeah, because then I could put 8 and 9 in those. So if this was 4, 8, 9, I could go 8, 8, 9, 9, and I think I'm okay. This is the alternate polarity of green, because I've got all four greens in the bottom row, and this can't be a 5, so this has to be purple which is interesting. Is it the nature of an 11 cage? No, I could put a five in an 11 cage. So it's either a high digit and a low digit. So nine, two, eight, three, seven, four, or it's a high and a five. So this is, this is either low high, or this is five and this is high. There's, there's a nature to this I haven't figured out and I'm not sure what it is. Is it the 12 cage? One of these has to be high. That You can get one low digit in a 21 cage. You can't get two. Because you could do four, eight, nine, and after that you're playing with purely high digits. So there's one high digit in an 11 cage. But the thing is, this could be, oh, hang on, that can't be a four. Because the maximum this could be is seven. This is actually weirding me out. The maximum this could be is seven. And if this is seven, these two would have to sum to 13. So the minimum this could be is, f no, 14. So the minimum this could be would be nine and five. So this could be five. This can't be a low digit, but it could be a five. I'm not understanding. Could these be low? If these were both, no, these can't be low. This is it. These two digits can't be low. That's got to be the case. Because if these were low, these would have to be low because they're lower than them on the thermo, which would mean these would be three, four. These would have to be one, two because they'd have to be lower than them in the same box. So these would be one and two and 
this would have to be low. Like, how would this work? Because this would have to be a one and it can't be. So purple is high. Purple is high. Green is low. Okay. Now we've got that locked in. So I've got the polarity. So this is seven, eight or nine, because I can't put six into a 12 cage, but I don't think that's actually helped me that much. Now this is six or eight because they're the only high digits that can go on a black dot. Seven and nine, the, high the odd high digits do not have a one to two relationship. So this is three or four. And I haven't put any low digits onto thermos to force anything. Now I did know one of these four is a nine because I have to put nine in this box. And the same with eight, one of these four is an eight, but that doesn't force this because I could put the eight and nine down here, couldn't I? Oh. Actually, what are the minimums here? The minimum in those is two, three, four, but what's the maximum you can put into a 12 cage? Actually, the maximum you can put into a 12 cage is nine, except it's not in this one because I need two digits that are higher. So the maximum you can put into this 12 cage is a seven. But I could actually make it quite low. I could, like, Two, three, four is only nine, but I could, by thermo logic, put two, three, and four into those thermos. I'm not following this puzzle. This is six, seven, eight, nine. Six would make five, seven would make four, eight would make three, and nine would make two. That's not helping me. This might... Nine would need three, eight would need four, seven would need five. No, that doesn't help me either. I'm not getting any high-low forced in those. I do... This is a low digit which unfortunately I can't color because of the way this has been created. Now I do need to put a five. Now these thermos are just normal. And I need to put two more high digits in this row. Do they need to be, they need to be at the end of the thermos, surely. Yeah, this row is just normal. This row is just normal, but I could go one, two, three, four. This can't be, neither of these can be six because if I went one, two, three, four, where would I put the five in the row? I'd have to put it there. I cannot put a six in either of these because I can't put five off the thermo. So, although, yeah, I can't put six in either of these. If I put six here, these would be six, seven, eight, nine. These would all be high digits, and that would break that. Same here. If this is a six, these would all have to be high, and I'd have five high digits. There's no six in any of those. Now, this is a low digit, but if this was a high digit, I think I'm okay. I could make all of those high. And then that could be a five and all of those low. I And I could make this a five and make all of those high and all of those low. I think that works too. So 21 cage must contain at least two high digits. I know that. I know there is a nine and an eight. Mm. 
So I said ages ago, there's a there's a pressure on this box where like wherever nine goes, which has to be in one of the corners because there has to be a slow thermo relationship between it. The same is true with eight probably, but I could go nine, nine, eight, nine. Like I don't see why that wouldn't be possible. And then when I go seven, I could go seven, eight. And there's all sorts of stuff possible. Nine is the only super restricted digit that I can see. Now these are from 789 because I can't put six on them because if I put six here, both of these need to be one. That can't even be seven because that would, this needs, um, seven is not five away from three or four. If I put six in any of these, these would both be one and I can't do that. So these are 789. Right, this is 789 because no, this one. No, actually, that's not true. These were because of that digit, but no other digit sees that one. It's only that one. These are 789 because they see two options. So these are 789. So I do have to put a 6 on this thermo somewhere. I've got one high, I've got two high digits to put on the thermos, but I can't say, I mean, one of them goes at the end of a thermo, but I could put them like both there or both there. And if this is seven, these sum to 14, and I think those would become high. I would have one high digit to put in here, but with seven here, could I go, f is that broken? Because seven, eight, nine means that these become, seven, eight, nine runs me out of high digits in this box. So if this is a seven, I run out of high digits in this box. These would have to sum to 14, which means one of these digits would have to be high, but the other one could be five, which means that I've, which means I'm okay. I could go, if this is a seven, one of these is five, five, is what I'm learning. And these would be two, three, four. I... So this is also 234 because it can't be one and it's a low digit, but that's... So one in this box is in one of those two cells because it can't be here because they have to... So it's ones, right? Actually, no, it's not. Well, no, it's really not. Ones are only restricted up here. So I've got two low digits off this, so I can only put, but I could only ever put two low digits into a 12 cage anyway. And I think I must put two low digits. I can't put, no, I could put, I must put two low digits into a 12 cage. So I've got two low digits up here. I've got one and this one, because one can't go in here because it ha this the, the nature of the slow thermo means that these digits have to be, at, one of them it could be two. But I must put two low digits into the 12 cage. Absolutely. Because, but I, if I, if I used three, four, what's the other digit? The seven, three, four, five. So three, four, five is possible. So this can't be a four because then the minimum here would be four, five, six, which is too much. So this can't be a four. This is a two or a three. And there's two low digits in here, which is either 
it's either two, three, and I can't put the two here. So, but anyway, it's either two, three, which is five with seven, sorry, with seven. It's two, three, seven, two, four, why is that? Two, four, six, or three, four, five. They're the only possibilities, but that's still a lot of options. And two of the digits are low. So this isn't a low, so this is high or five, and one of these is high or five. That's not telling me anything. This can't be a two, but if this is three, this could be three, four, three, four, five, two, if this is three, this could be three, four, five, and that could be the two. Because if this is three, I could put three in either of those. I'm really struggling here. If I don't put a nine in the 21 cage, it's six, seven, eight. Is there a problem with that? One of these would become a nine, which means one of those would become a nine. I'm sorry, I can't follow this because these don't seem under any pressure at all because those could be the same. I mean, they can't be the same digit because of the nature of these, but there's no pressure on the cells. Until I get something, the thermos aren't really doing much. Like I could go 229. So these cells don't do anything that I can see at this point. The German whispers aren't lining up in a way that does anything. If this is a four, this becomes a nine, this becomes an eight. What does that leave here? Four, nine, so, I don't know, let's just do it. Four, nine, eight would mean this can't be nine, two. It can't be eight, three. It can't be seven, four. So this would become six and five. Does that break anything? Because this was a high digit. Does that break anything? Not obviously, but it means that six is in one of those two cells. If six is here, both of those are a one. Which would put one in one of those two. So is the problem the other way? But if this is three, I get less restriction. Three, six means this isn't six, five, but that could be either eight or nine. I don't see restriction on how to use these thermos in these columns because this could be maximum nine, maximum eight, maximum seven, maximum nine, maximum seven, maximum three. And that's all because of the 12 cage. The 21 cage, as I said, I can put anything as low as a four in it and that doesn't break the thermos because they're slow thermos. I could make these eight and nine with putting sort of eight and nine, like that is perfectly legal. 
and I don't see why that would be broken. I can even put four in four. Um, like the, there's a constraint with ones and sixes that fours can only go next to nines and sixes can only go next to ones. But the deliberate shaping of this line means that, for example, I could put a six there and one in both of those, and then I just have to put one in one of those two cells. I could put six here and one in both of those, and then I just have to put one there. Like this can't be a one. But this could, any one is in one of those. So one is in one of those three cells. One is in one of those three and one of those four. One isn't in any of those cells, but it could be in any of those. And two isn't that much more relaxed because two can go into any of those cells. Hang on a minute. Is that it? I can't put two. Oh Lord, two is in one of those two. That's ridiculous and, of course, incredibly clear. Two in this row has to be in one of those two cells because I can't put two in a high digit and I can't put two more than two along a thermo. Two has to be in one of those two. That is a three. That's the trick and it's gorgeous. I am so blind. So now these all have to be at least three. So they are three, four, and five without the three being here, which means that's not three or five. That's the two. That's stunning. So that... No, that could still... No, it can't be a five. That's a high digit. That's gorgeous. So there's no three in these. So one of these has to be a three because I have to go two, three. Can I use that? That's really clever. That is so clever. And it was right there. And the reason that it wasn't true in this column is because the the this wasn't forced to be a high digit. These were. That's really clever. Now, but that hasn't trapped me here. I still don't understand. Everyone's going to solve this faster than me. Like everyone. So this is six, seven, eight, nine. There's a one and a two up here with a six, seven, eight, or nine. Maximum nine, maximum eight, maximum seven. That's all fine. This could be minimum five. So four in this column is in one of those two cells. If this is the four, this is eight, nine, but I've already looked at that and that can work because these could be eight, nine. And that could be five. No! Now that you've got this, oh, this is weird. This can't be four anymore. Because if this is four, these become eight, nine. That makes these eight, nine, and these are all high digits, which means this couldn't be high. And it couldn't be low because we made this a four. So this would have to be a five. This would be four, five, and that would break that cell. That can't be a four anymore. So this has to be at least six. So there's, I can't put four here because those are all low digits. There's no four there. There's no four in any of those. There's no four in any of those. That's the four. This is crazy. That's absolutely crazy. 
So this is maximum nine, maximum eight. So this is six, seven, eight, and seven, eight, nine. So these are all of the high digits in this box. So that's a five, because it sees all four low digits and all four high digits. So that's not the five, that's a six or a seven. So this isn't a six, isn't a six, and this isn't a seven. This is an eight or a nine. This is nuts. Now, I can't make both of those high anymore. I could make one of them a five, but I can't make both of them high because I've already got three high digits. The tuning on this puzzle. So one of these, I can't make this six, seven, eight anymore because if this was six, seven, eight, so there's a nine in one of these because if this was six, seven, eight, these would both have to be six or higher, which would mean they'd all be high and these five digits would be high. They'd all, I need five digits from six, seven, eight, nine, and it doesn't work. So there's a nine in one of these, which means there's a nine in one of me, these, which means that's not a nine and that's not a two. But I could put a four, eight, nine, or five, seven, nine. But there's no six in the cage. It's four, eight, nine, or five, seven, nine. There's no six in the cage. This is seven, eight, nine, which means that's the six. And with a seven, this is five, nine. And one of these must be a five. And the other one is a nine. No, yes, one of these must be a five because I can't have another high digit. So this is a five, nine pair. There's no eight here which means there's no five here. This is a five, nine pair. So this is a six or a seven. Because these are the five, six, seven, eight, nine, and these are all low digits. Now I could have colored those low digits for once I got that five, but this is a six or a seven. Which means these are all ones and twos. Because a seven can go next to a one or a two, but a six can only go next to ones. So this is a three or a four, which means this can't be a seven, which gives me an eight, nine pair, which makes that a six. This is crazy, which makes that the four, which makes that the seven. Four is a low. This is nuts. So that digit, well, this makes this the four, which makes this the nine. This has got to be nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is high, because the nine made that the eight. The seven makes that a six. That's not a seven. This is a one or a two. This is insane. These are a one, two pair because of the three, four in the column. These are a three, four pair. This is a one, two, which means there's a three in one of these. These are three, five, and nine. No, that's not right. That is not right. The nine makes that the five, which makes that the nine. This is crazy. One, two, three, four. This is the five. So these, one, two, three, these are a three, eight pair. Now these are one, two, three because they're low digits that don't include a four. The four takes four out of there, which takes eight out of there. That break in, I was getting absolute, I was figuring, how do you solve this? It's so elegant. How does someone do this as their second puzzle? It's mind numbingly good. And I still haven't fully cracked it. So nine three would make that eight. Seven five, yeah, I don't know. There's still going to be stuff going around that uh, 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 going on with these thermos. So I've got to put an eight in one of those two. Because one two three four five. Oh, is this a six eight pair? Hang on. Oh, there's no five in either of those. That's a two four pair. This is a six eight pair. Can I resolve it? No. 
But where do I put five in this row? Because we know the three in this row has to go immediately after the two. I could then... So the three is either here or here. So this... So I need to put a three, a five, and a six in. I can't put a five there. This could go three, five, and then this could go four, six, and then a high digit, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think there's still a little bit of leeway. But these are, so these are high digits. So these are high digits, even if they're the same. And that gives me all four high digits. And the five is in here. So this is a one-two pair. It's giving me a one-two pair here. I don't know what that is yet. But these are six, seven, eight, nine. There's no seven there. There's no eight or nine there. So if this is a maximum of seven, this can't be an eight. That's the six, that's the eight. So this isn't six or seven, this is eight or nine. And it's not nine. This is eight, which takes eight out of there. This is so cool. The six looks down, making that the seven and that the six. And the six makes both of those one, which makes both of those two, which makes that one, which makes that two, which makes that one, which makes that two. The six makes that one, which means that's not one. That one makes that two and that one. This could be six if those are both one, I think. Because I know one, ah, this is a one. Because one is in one of those two, so this is a one by Sudoku. The three makes that a two, which does allow that to be seven if that's also a two which it is by Sudoku, because I can't put two here or here because of the pointing twos, and for that to be a two, that would have to be a 10. So that is a two by Sudoku, which does allow that to be seven. This is absolutely cray cray. I love it. And I still haven't figured it out. This one, of course, looks up saying, that's not the one, that's the one which is low. Do I want to get rid of all the coloring at this point? I'm not sure. So this has a maximum of seven, but it can't be seven. So it's maximum is six. So this is from two, it can't be two. So three, four, five, six, because it can't be two because there's a two in the box. In fact, all of these, so, if this is a three, that's a three. Actually, let's just mark this quad. Three, four, six, seven. Now there's no six there. There's no three there. This is four or seven. There's no seven there. In fact, because, yeah, it could be six though. I don't know. Six is in one of those two, but this could be a six because those are already both ones. I think it's this row, but I've... S oh, this can't be a four. Because there's a two, four. One of these two is a three. I think I'm done with the whisper line. Like, I'm just done with the whisper line. This is either high or five. Oh. This two is looking at making that the four and that the two, and the two means that's the three. That's the trick. 
and it wasn't even that hard. But that's given me a lot of freedom. The three says that's not a three. So these are four, six, and seven. The four looks down making that the three and that the four. The three looks up making that the five and that the three. So that is your low digit. This is seven, eight, nine. It's not eight. Oh, this isn't eight either. This is eight. This is seven or nine. So we've got a seven, nine pair looking down making that the five and that the nine. So that's the high digit. There's no five there. I've got to put an eight in one of those two. But five. So it's at this cake. Nine three seems fine. Seven five. I'm not seeing a problem there either. The elegance of these cages and the way they forced the slow thermos was beautiful, but I am not seeing the next trick. And I'm wondering if it is the color, meaning that I'm not seeing it. So I am getting rid of all the color because color just obfuscates stuff. So this is five, six or seven because it's not one, two, three, four, eight or nine. So it's five, six or seven. So this is six, seven or eight and it's not seven. Could be nine though. Why did I say it couldn't be nine? And this is, well, it's not one, two, three, four. It could be five, seven, eight, nine. That's just nuts. If this is six, this is five. Because it can't be six. Oh no, it could be four. This could go six, four. So this would be five or four if this is six. But I don't know. And if this, and this isn't forced at all. These could be in any order. And this isn't forced. Oh, this four means that's not a three. So where's three in this box? Because this, there's no three here. There's no three here. There's no three in any of those. That's a three. Okay. Does that do anything? It puts three right there. Which puts three in one of those two. Five is now in one of those two, isn't it? Yeah, five is in one of those two. I can't put five in any of those or there. Five is in one of those two. Now, either of those is fine. It does put five in one of those two, which again isn't a problem. Because five is in one of those two, which isn't a problem. Four is in one of those two. So four is in one of those two. Is four forced into one of those two? I don't think it is. Because four could be over here and then here. Is there a whisper trick I've missed? 
7 could go next to 2, 6 could go next to 1, 7 could go next to 1, 2. The rest of the whisper line is resolved. The thermos are done. 6 and 2 are fine between the 6 and the 4. This is fully resolved. So all the whispers, all the cage, this is the only cage I haven't resolved. So it's Sudoku at this point. And it's obviously... So if this is 9-3, this is 6-7. The 3 would make this 3, this 8. This would be 5 or 7. I don't know. Okay, but if this is 7-5, that doesn't force anything either. It makes that 5. But this could still be 4 or 7. Oh, row six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an eight, so this is a nine. The eight looks down, making that the three and that the eight. The three says that's not the three, that's the three, so that is the nine, which makes that the six and that the seven. That's the Sudoku I was missing. So this is four or five, because it can't be six. The seven means that's not the seven. The nine means that there's no nine in any of those. The six makes that the eight, which means that's the seven, which means that's the five and that's the six, which makes that the four and that the five. It wasn't that tricky. I just didn't see it. That's the nine. So this is not the five. This is a four seven because that's the six. And the seven looks up making that the four and that the seven. It was just Sudoku, which I missed. This is now the four. These are five, six, and seven. There's no seven in either of those so that's the seven and the six makes that the six that six makes that the five and that the six the seven makes that the nine and that the seven which was fully resolved and now it's yeah four looks up no it's not the four looking up it's the four looking across saying that's not the four that's the four it's the five looking across saying that's not the five that's the five one two three four five six seven these are eight and nine and i'll use that nine to make that the eight and that the nine 44 47 i really struggled with that one but it's beautiful puzzle. How does someone make that as their second puzzle? Holy cow. Now, I'm not at my best. Like, sure, not a problem with that. If every day I was at my best, I, I'd burn out. <laughs> um, but wow, what a puzzle. What a puzzle. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing more from Ollie Wright. That was amazing. Thank you very much, everyone. I'm just a bit dumbfounded. Um, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.